Hello, this is Bryn Antrim, one of the librarians here at Santa Monica College. Today, this video will be going over services to faculty. If you are a student, please go to our YouTube channel and check out the other videos available for you that might be helpful in your research or getting acclimated to the SMC library and its services. For faculty members, there are a variety of services that are specific for you, so let's check those out. From the school homepage, to get to the library, just click on the menu, head into Student Support, and we are listed under Academics at the library link. Once there, the center of the page has a number of things useful for both you and your students. Databases that have a variety of research databases, both general and discipline specific. Research guides that are library guides, including such things as area of interest specific guides, monthly themed specific guides, and how to do things like research, MLA citation, APA citation, etc. We have a list of our workshops and videos that are updated with our new workshops every fall and spring semester. Students can book a study room if they want to either work together with a group or work individually if they have um, an online class that they have to do, for example. This allows them to take their mask off and to be able to talk freely um, and join in there, participate with their class. And Ask a Librarian, which is 24-7 chat reference help. If this is used during the time that the library is open, which is 8 to 5 Monday through Thursday for fall of 2022, then they will be speaking with an SMC librarian. If it is any other time, it is 24-7. They will be chatting with a librarian from a college or university in the consortium to which we belong. So they will always receive assistance from a librarian by using this chat. Also in the center, information about when we are open and closed, quick links to various resources, including our YouTube channel and our chat, and the orientation request form, which I'll go into a little more detail later, and information on how to follow us on our social media. Over on the left side of the page we have a number of quick links, some of which mirror what is in the center of the page for students and for faculty. Before we go into services for faculty, I want to show you how you would look or how your students would look for a reserve book that you put um, in the library for your students to use. Reserve textbooks are available for our students based on availability when the teacher brings them over or sends them to us. So if you um, are interested in putting your book on reserve, I'll show you how to do that in just a moment as well. But if you're checking to see if your book is on reserve, you can take a look here as you see some of the previous ones that I've done. I'm just looking for a Math 52 book. So I type in the class and it finds over 4,000 results because you are searching absolutely everything. After you begin your search, however, you can change where you search to say only give me textbooks on reserve. Research it and anything attached to that or not attached will show. So at this point the student will say, oh, maybe I need to check and make sure that I've got the right number or I need to go talk to my instructor and ask the instructor to put it on reserve. If you're doing this for another class, say for example, I'm in an English class and I have something by William Conrad that my English professor wants me to look for, because I am looking only for textbooks on reserve, when I look up that author's name, everything that I find will not be everything that we have. It will only be those books on reserve that include that name. Okay. So at that point I would say, oh yeah, it was this one. Where is it? It's available at the main campus library on reserves at this call number. Reserve books are available for two hours at a time in library use only because they belong to the instructor, they don't leave the building. So that's how you use the textbook on reserve function. So how do you put something on reserve? Well, you head into services for faculty. Once there, there are a number of things that are listed, but the first that is listed is the reserves policy. And this tells you all about how we handle the textbooks that you loan to us to loan to your students. 
This is our number one circulating collection. Students are extremely happy when they find their books on reserve. They can check them out and read them. They can make photocopies. They can take PDFs on their phone. Um, the library catalog is also linked here. And importantly, here is the reserve request form. Further down the page, it gives you our frequently asked questions about reserve materials. Okay. In order to put something on reserve, you simply click on the reserve request form, download it, fill it out, and then upload it and send it to antrim underscore brenda at smc.edu antrim underscore brenda at smc.edu at this time I am the reserve coordinator then you can either bring the books in to the library or you can send them to the library SMC library 1900 Pico Boulevard Santa Monica California 90045 attention reserves antrim antrim once the books come in and I have the form, I will take them to our staff who will then process them and put them into the computer. It takes three to five business days for this to happen. So if you can get us your reserve books before the semester starts, that's extremely helpful for your students as they hit the ground running. Heading back into our faculty services, the next one listed is library orientation requests. We do both in-person and Zoom one-hour orientations. These orientations introduce the students to library resources. They are usually formulated so that the first part of the orientation is introduction to the website. Then we introduce a catalog search for print materials and electronic books, and then give the students about 10 minutes or so to do a hands-on search. Then we bring them back and we do a database introduction one or two databases applicable to the class that they're in so it might be a business database or a history database or a general database depending on the class and then they get 10 to 15 minutes to do a hands-on search in that resource so after the orientation the students leave with an introduction to library resources in general and one two or even three resources to help them on their current research process in order to get the library orientations, read through this page. They must be made at least 48 hours in advance, not including Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, as we are closed at that time and the research coordinator is not working at that time. Um, so make sure that you uh, give us plenty of warning, <laughs> if you would, because as we open back up again, orientations become more and more popular and it becomes more and more difficult especially if you have two or three classes in it the same day to get them all on the same day the earlier you request um, the better able we are to meet your requests you fill out this orientation form let us know whether it is online or in zoom let us know what citation style we would use within that orientation please keep in mind we do not teach citation within orientations because the purpose of the orientation is to introduce research resources. We do, however, have both an MLA and APA workshop later on, both Zoom and in person in the in the class, um, or sorry, during the semester. And we also have those archived both on the library webpage and on YouTube. Then you can please give us a preferred date and an alternate date for each course that you want to bring in. Once you have submitted your form, the orientation scheduler will take them in the order received, email you back, and send you an Outlook invitation. Your library and instructor will be copied on that Outlook invitation and on that email. And any further information that you would like to communicate with your library and instructor, you would do directly. So that's how you request a library orientation. Heading back into services for faculty, you can make suggestions for purchase. Please keep in mind that our budget is limited and please make sure that your suggestions for purchase support the curriculum and your students' needs. We do not buy textbooks because we simply don't have the budget, which is why we have textbooks on reserve. 
Suggestions for purchase are really intended for supplementary material that will assist your students in understanding your course content and enrichment materials that will allow them to do um, research for their essays, their projects, etc. I'm going to come back to other services in just a moment, but I want to highlight linking to articles and databases. You do have this option, so if you have an article in JSTOR or in Business Source or one of our other multiple databases that you would like to use in your class, you can link it in Canvas. And this site, this page, shows you exactly how to do that. For the fall semester, if you have any issues, you can contact our systems librarian, Steve Hunt, as linked here. After that, um, we will be updating this page as Steve will be retiring at the end of the semester. Um, and another librarian, another technical services librarian, will be available to assist you if you have difficulties linking your, um, linking your article. We have wireless internet access throughout the building. You log on the same as you would for your SMC email. And we have some other services for library. That includes all of these things listed. If you're interested to find out more about the library specifically, about the library lists, all of our policies, our staff directory and what's new. And if you're looking to find us, we are listed under library staff, first our service points, then our administration, then our libra library faculty. Our full-time faculty have our specialties and our contact information listed. Our library staff are also listed. They do not have contact information, mainly to keep them from getting um, harassed because they are our first contact and sometimes they deal with students or community members who are not friendly and we want to protect them as much as we can. If you have any questions, please email me. Again, I'm Bren Antrim, a Reference and Collection Development Librarian and the Faculty Chair. And here is my contact information. I do recommend email over phone, as I am usually walking the reference floor or working at the reference desk or teaching workshops or otherwise not actually in my office. Thank you for listening, and if you have any questions, again, please do call me. Be well. Contact me. Don't call me. <laughs>